wait. <laughs> Might have been rolling a few minutes, haven't it? Okay, this is your girl sipping the with Spiritual Truth Tarot, and um, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to get ready to do the no, um, this is September. What am I talking about? September. Ooh, ooh, Lordy. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're going to be doing February 2020 for a sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for Scorpio. How you Scorpios doing? Hope you all doing well. Uh, we're going to see what messages we have. Remember, the messages are very fluent. I want to also let you guys know I put a video out of those I picked in the comment section, as I promised, um, and to do a free reading for. I already got one in, in touch with me already, so I'm waiting for the other two. And I'm still going to be doing it um, until Spirit says not to do it anymore, you know, because um, I do have this special. If you all want to participate in that, you know, uh, where you get 30 minutes for $20, okay? Just email me, text me, or call me. Um, and I'll set that up for you, but it's first come, first serve. You have to make your payment right on the spot because, like I said, first come, first serve. And I am uh, getting pretty filled up now. But I'm going to get give myself a couple of days in here to where I just can rest and recoup because, you know, when you're doing personal private readings, you're, 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 you're tuning into their spiritual, the spirit guides and the uh, ancestors and the Holy Spirit. So it's a lot of energy. Okay. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, but the video's up already for those who I picked already through spirit, not me. Okay. Remember. If you have any beef or whatever, or you don't like what you're hearing, or there's other readers out there that's great. They can, you know, help you out. If not me, uh, because I'm really straight and to the point. You know, I just, you know, do what Spirit tells me to do. I tell the truth. I'm not going to put you in the fantasy land because that's just not going to help you. Not saying I'm all negative. You know, when you get a personal private reading, you'll see that it's not bad as what you think. Because spirit always come out with some good stuff. It's just that you have to make up your mind which direction you want to go. Do you want happiness? Do you want real love? Or do you want to stay trapped? That's all it's about. It's about making choices. It's not judgment. I'm not here to judge anybody. Because I'm human just like you are. I make mistakes. You know. Um, it's just. It is what it is. You know. So, let's get into it. Let me shut up. Uh, let me get a drink of water in my throat. Something about y'all throat, your uh, chakra. Y'all have, there's a lot having a problem with their throat chakra. You can look on my um, playlist and find, it'll be under meditation. And it um, has a lot of meditations that help me out through uh, some difficult times. You know, to keep me, you know, grounded and balanced. Uh, through some situations and made me feel a whole lot better so that may help you as well that's why I put them up okay so if you haven't you know get your get, you know do a whole align a chakra alignment okay especially now you know with these eclipses people are seeing things people are, things are being revealed to you that was kind of shocking that you wasn't expecting you know these snakes are coming out, up and um, they're getting their heads cut off period all right <laughs> that's what's happening Something might happen that you know you did not from someone you never thought that they was doing some things that, that comes out that some of you might have already experienced. Some of you may, like I said, because the energies are fluent. The messages are you know for the whole world, so it may not resonate you, with you. You may want to check your other signs. So let's get it on. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpios, y'all found a new love. Some of you found a new love. Hearing that right off the bat. After a separation. Yeah, see? You had to separate from somebody. Something you had to cut and let go. They put a lot of swords in your back or you done this to them. It's an ending, but it's for new beginnings. See that full moon up there? Something was revealed. If it goes on in the dark, you guys. You got to remember, it's going to come to the light. You could be dealing with. A, you could have been dealing with a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And we have the um, 
the Hierophant here, but it's in reverse. So it could have been a break, a breaking up of a marriage, somebody, you know, breaking the rules, doing what they want to do, um, not being loyal, not being honest. So, you know, that's what the Hierophant is in reverse. Upright, he does the right thing. He's a counselor, he's a teacher. But somebody was going against the rules and regulations here, doing things they weren't supposed to. And that's what caused this ending. Some of you, it was the end of a marriage. Some of you, it was just the end of a relationship that may have been long term. Yeah, two of cups here. But new love comes in. Okay? And this is a soul tie love here. This is somebody, you know, you can drink out of each other's cup. You can share your uh, your energies together. Your energies are in alignment with one another. You both see eye to eye. You see them looking at each other eye to eye. You see they're cleaning their cups. You know, this is a new relationship. I just, I said that before we started the reading. Y'all had new love. This is new love. This is a soulmate partner. This is the one. Well, for some of you, it was the one. Let's see what the story comes out to be. Got the chariot. Yeah, moving forward with this new relationship here. You know, full full speed ahead. Victory. No looking back for, uh, for Scorpios. No looking back. Okay? Because the chariot, some of y'all could be dealing with cancer. Okay, the last card we got here is the Empress. Now you're feeling good about yourself. I feel like um, um, you're, you're going to be giving birth to the world. Some of you may end up, you know, uh, finding out that you're pregnant. Okay, but this is like, she's the biggest of the, all the queens and things like that in the, in the deck. You feel like you're, somebody's treating you like a queen, okay? This new person that came into your life, this one that, you, you know, you have reciprocity with. Okay, you're moving forward with them. You're not even looking back at this situation right here. You've done pulled all those swords out your back and let this person go. And now new things are, you got a new relationship that you're moving forward with. Both of y'all put, look, you see the black and the white horse there? You know, that's two people pulling it together and working together, doing things together. Straight forward, no looking back. You're moving on and you're becoming the empress. You are the empress. You're the mother earth. You help create things. You you may be a mother for some of you, but you're it's like you're a mother to the world, you know, because it doesn't necessarily have to be pregnancy. It's just that you have a gift that you give to the whole world. You may be a mother to a lot of people, a lot of broken hearted people. You give that energy that because you can feel you're very intuitive, uh, very intuitive, uh, Scorpio. So now let's um. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and break this down and verify, and then I'll let you guys go with it, uh, with my deck here, Love and Relationship Answer Oracle. You can find those on my website or just contact me. All my information is below, uh, or you can look at any of the all the decks that I have available on my website. Uh, and then some kind of advice. Okay, now let's look at this ten of. Uh, the Ten of Swords. Usually my readings come out like, like I said, I'm a pretty blunt and straightforward person, probably because I'm older. Um, and um, Spirit kind of gives me the messages straight up, like my personality, like very straight up, very straightforward. But, you know, some of you may need a little bit more information because it's, you know, worldwide. So the Ten of Pentacles is the moon. Yeah, there was some secrets, okay? There was something that somebody didn't see or or was you know had to be brought to the light and that's what caused this ending secrecy you maybe you, you know your intuition was telling you something about this person and um you had to break up with them or they broke up with you but that's the moon energy that's scorpio sometimes i look at that as being pisces as well Okay, so we have the um, Hierophant in reverse, and it is, yeah, you're, 
you're leaving a marriage or a long term relationship because you want to you want to be uh, fulfilled. You, you're 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 fulfilled now. You're happy with the nine of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's your energy. Nine of cups, one cup away from you know the entire thing, the whole bag. But nine is good too. It's good. You're 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 ready to be happy now. Okay, you're happy that this person is gone. To be honest with you, after you sit back and think, thought about it, and, you know, you got this new love here, that's what's making you happy. Your cups are being fulfilled. I mean, your, your wish fulfillment is here for you guys, Scorpio. Congratulations. Congratulations. Because a lot of people went through uh, uh, some rough things here. Seven of Wands. You're protected. Whoever this is, this person is very protected. They could be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo with the Seven of Wands. You might even be protecting yourself, like guarding yourself a little bit because of what happened in the past to you. Um, you know, you put yourself in your own little bubble, like... Yeah, you might have put yourself in like a little... I'm getting notifications already. <laughs> so, yeah, you're probably putting yourself in um, like... I'm, I'm looking, you know, like maybe meditation, something spiritual, because sevens is about spirituality. This this union is spiritual. It's a spiritual connection, so you're protecting it, or the other person is protecting, or you're both protecting this relationship. It's definitely spiritually guided, okay? Definitely. Ooh, I'm so happy for y'all. I'm so happy. Um, now with the chariot. The chariot, I feel like, is verified by the five of wands. So somebody's very unhappy about this. They have, whoever you broke up with or let go of, and they know you in another relationship, they may have tried to pick a fight or you know try to win you back or something like that. But you wasn't having it. You was like, I'm going, I'm moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking back. I, I'm not. I'm not down with the drama no more. I'm not down with the arguing. I'm not down with the fighting. I'm not down with the inner conflict that comes with the five of wands. I want to be free from it, and I'm moving forward, straight ahead, no looking back. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, you got Mother Earth again on top of Mother Earth. Oh my gosh, the Empress on top of the Empress. <laughs> so, again, I feel like some of you are going to come up pregnant, you're going to have a baby. Most of all, I'm feeling that this is just like um, you're, you're the mother of the world. You're giving birth to something in the world that has to do with people, places, and things. You help a lot of people. Again, you're a mother to the universe. Mother Earth is the top dog out of all the queens, okay, or the kings, whatever way it may go. This is it. This is somebody who's got their stuff together, and they're about to you're about to give birth to a new situation, a, a new lifestyle, okay. Uh, you're gonna be very blessed and um, treated like the queen or the empress that you are. Yeah, you're going to be happy here, uh, can't, uh, Scorpio, I'm sorry, you guys, wow, this is the best one yet, the best one yet that I've had. Okay, let me give you something, <coughs> messages. See, you got the dawn, new beginnings, look at this. And you got the double, man, this right here, these are, uh, um, um, look, this is the empress confirming the empress that this is who you are. You, you know, you're going to be treated right, you're going to be doing things for other people, you're giving birth to an idea, a place, a purpose in your life, especially when it comes to love, because this is love reading, but it could be about everything, like family matters. People need you. People need you, uh, Scorpio. People need you. They need you to give birth to the earth. Uh, spread your wings and fly. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Everything's starting all over for you. New beginnings. I don't think I need to pull another one. I think 
Look, I think you climbed some mountains here. I feel like you had to go through some stuff, uh, Scorpio. You went through a lot, but you made it. You made it through, through strength, through your angel guys, through your spirit guys, through your family members who's over on the other side watching after you. They helped you on this mountain here. They helped you make it. Wow, that's mm, beautiful. Beautiful, Scorpio. That's it. Sorry for my, my allergies are asking me a little bit. Just a tad bit. Okay, I'm reading from my uh, Love and uh, Romance Oracle answer cards. They are on my website if you'd like to purchase. Thank you all who've been purchasing my decks. I really appreciate it. Fun. They're saying let loose and have fun. You and your partner have fun together. You know, it's, it's set yourself free. You know, you got the strength. You done climbed these mountains that you went through. Now your chakras are all in the line. I'm looking at the colors. The colors are like the colors of your chakras. New beginning, a new day, a new dawn. Wow. Double Empress energy where you really got it going on. You're going to be treating, you're going to have a lot of fun with whoever this is you're with. Or some of you will be. Oh, you learn self-love. You learn to treat yourself right. You learn through those um, mountains that you had to climb and you won. When you have self-love, let me show y'all when you have self-love. When you have self-love, you draw in your other half. Everybody came here with somebody to be with for a lifetime. And that's what you've done. But you had to let something else go first. And that's what we all got to do. This is time of letting go and entering into the new millennium. Millennium. Hope I said that right. <laughs> okay, so... I think I got... Let me put these up and I think I got one more word for you guys and then I'll go ahead and let you guys go. Give me one second, you guys. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy Spirit, what other messages that you have for the sign of Scorpio? Beautiful, beautiful reading. We want to thank you. Thank you for the messages that were very, very beautiful. Hope and love and all that good stuff. Okay? Yeah, everything happened in divine timing. For a lot of you, like I said, you are already in this era. You're already, you're already there. Some of you is just going to be in divine timing when it's going to happen. Just hold on. Hold on. It's coming. Okay? So, I think that's all I got for you right now. Your, re your reading was very straightforward and to the point, like a lot of them. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there, so I just went ahead and um, clarified, uh, you know, the, the reading. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys, Scorpio, have a great one because this is, this is it for you. This is it. The Big Bang Theory, okay? <laughs> so, some of you like a personal private reading or if you like to share, subscribe. Um, or, or like I said, personal private reading, just look below. All my information is down there. I am having a specialty uh, for February, the whole month of February, where you uh, can get a 30-minute uh, reading for $20, okay? First come, first serve. Uh, and I, I haven't, um, I've been doing the readings to try to get these out the way because it is the 31st. I've been busy with other readings from last month and other stuff that I've been doing other than YouTube. So... <clears throat> You guys that's been calling and, you know, leaving messages and stuff, please bear with me just for a little bit. And, um, because I, 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 I feel confused if I'm just all over the place. So I'm finishing up these videos and then I'm going to get in touch with you guys to set your appointments, okay? So have a good one. Make sure, put your comments below because I'm still going to be picking. I already picked the ones. I made a video about it. So go on there and look at that to see if you were chosen. Um, and then get in contact with me. I did leave a reply and then I put the names in the description. I think I'll set it as well in the video. 
and um, uh, do the same for these videos like share subscribe and you know make your comments and I'm going to be picking people a uh, couple people to do a reading free reading for okay so you know we're just going to start 2020 off with a bang you guys take care I love each and every one of you and have a great 2020